Hello YouTubers, it's Blu-ray Collector No Ray here. Uh, I have not had an, any video since December, so sorry about that. The January just just blew away from me, but I did a January purchase, so. I thought I put in in this February update video, kind of like a January February update video, you might say. And I have co quite a lot to show you, guys. It's 35 Blu-rays and one DVD, because some things are not on Blu-ray yet, so therefore. A DVD. So without further ado, let's start on this Blu-ray update for January, February. Let us begin. Since I've got all the third seasons of this show, I kinda had to get to the go for the fourth season as well and that is Sabrina the Teenage Witch the season 4 just because it was cheap I am not seen all the seasons yet I can't wait to check it out sooner or later now for the Blu-rays or Amorays you might say they're more more amorous than and, and to our rom com definitely maybe I've heard lots of good things about it so can't wait to finally check it out and this is for from my January purchases the first row is from January purchase so definitely maybe can't wait to see it and to a family film, Dolphin Tail, how to get the second one later. Dolphin Tail, I heard it's a good family film, you can watch with your family. Yeah, nothing but good things, can't wait. And Sin City, I heard only good things about it, they say that this is the better than better than the sequel and I maybe do believe them and I haven't seen it yet shame on me Sin City and to a blind buy of me your highness it it has good cast Natalie Portman is a good actress and I've not seen her in a movie like this so I can't wait to check it out your highness and I'm a fan of horror, so I and this was cheap shutter. So I picked it up just because it was cheap and looks like a decent will be a decent horror flick. And to I do like my Denzel Washington films and Virtuosity is it's a Denzel Washington film, so got to have it is in my collection, even though I haven't seen it yet. It is from 1995, so it's kind of old, but old is good. Can't wait to check it out. And to a movie that's gone low, low critic reviews, Seven Below, and it was cheap and it looks like a decent horror film or a thriller you might say same below and to a movie I just heard is that is just plain fun Dead Before Dawn it is a blind buy but it was cheap so I picked it up Dead Before Dawn and it looks like it has Christopher Lloyd in it and that makes it promising
And to the sequel, Sin City, A Dame to Kill For. I gotta say, I haven't seen this one either. Man of these titles I have not seen. I'm just showing to you guys what I've got this last month. Sin City, A Dame to Kill For, can't wait to check it out. Even though the, the reviews are mixed. Lucy, I heard nothing but good things about it. And it's Luke Besson, he, he knows the, a good action film. And Morgan Freeman and Scarlett Johansson, good actor, actress and actor. So can't wait to see that. And to a movie that got, got mixed reviews, The Rover. And I can't wait to see if Robert Pattinson can act. Yeah. And to a Norwegian film, Operation and Art Ar Artica. It looks like a decent family film. It's a Norwegian film. And it's been been seen by many by many movie movie gover, goers, so it looks like a good family fun film. And I got the Madagascar the complete collection. The first Madagascar, the Madagascar two Escape to Africa, and Madagascar three Europe Most Wanted. So now I have all these these brilliant trilogy can't wait for the Madagascar penguins coming out soon and I also got the Tim Burton collection for cheap so glad uh, glad I found it for cheap it's got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory Sweeney Todd the Demon Barber of Fleet Street and Tim Burton's Course Bride that's two of two movies I didn't have from before and Dark Shadows yeah, and all these films are good can't wait to check out Sweeney Todd and The Corpse Bride and a Disney film Tinkerbell and the Secret of Wings I have still got to check it out And to a film I have been recommended by, Nine, and Tim Burton has something to do with it, so it might be good, can't wait. And to a comedy, Paul Blart Mall Cop, Mall Cop, looks like a decent comedy film, Kevin Day, James o Always delivers, I think. Hopefully. Can't wait to check it out. And now for my February purchases. Since I have the first film, I got to have the, the Purge Anarchy. Can't wait to check it out. The Purge Anarchy, people. Let, let, let me know what you really think about this film. And to a more recent release, A Walk Among the tombsto Tombstones. Lion Eason does what it does best, playing playing badass, I think. And to another horror, The Apparition. And it got Tom Felton from Harry Potter franchise. So it, it looks, it got, it got good premise. And the blind boy, upside down. I know that Kirsten Dunst is a good actress, so I couldn't couldn't and it found it for cheap. I could not pass it on. And I heard lots lots of good things about this remake. Maniac, Elijah Wood. Can't wait to finally check it out. And to Norwegian drama, the night to the seventeenth. Yeah. 
and to, to a movie that looked cool on the cover at the Warriors way I was really psyched by the trailer so it the trailer had me intrigued to purchase this movie and also to a thriller Erased with Aaron Eckert in the lead role and he has in he is a good actor so this film looks like a decent thriller can't wait to finally check it out and the monuments man got it for cheap and it looks like a decent film funny film at least so and and that needed a teen film too so I got fun size it was cheap so I heard only I heard good things about this film at any price, and Dennis Quaid is has been a good actor and still a good actor, so this might be a good film. Can't wait. And to my first digibook ever, Mama Mia. Um, since it was cheap, since I gotta have the first digibook ever, so I got Mamma Mia Digibook so I'm happy with that a Digibook is a Digibook no matter what and I got The Fox and the Hound 2 not, n this does not be beats the original but I, I will probably like, like this as well I also got Walking with Dinosaurs the movie it comes with the Blu-ray and DVD, so that's good. Can't wait to check it out. And to a classic movie, A Few Good Men. Tom Cruise is a good actor, so this film, can't wait to check it out. And it also got Kiefer Sutherland, one of my favorite actors. So can't wait, really wait to check it out. And to a family film again, Mirror Mirror, never seen it before, it's about Snow White, so yeah, can't wait to check it out, this one too. And to another animation film, Thunder and the House of Magic, it looks like a decent an animation film and not heard much about it. It was mainly a blind buy, but it looks looks like a decent animation film. I think I will have a good time watching it. And Sunshine. I only never seen the film. Only heard the soundtrack. So the soundtrack appeared, up, made it, made its appeal to me. So I purchased this movie, and. I can't wait to check this one out. And for the last but not least, for this update, that is Heroes, the complete series on Blu-ray. I this series is good from the first from the first two seasons that I think I uh, would like to check it out on Blu-ray. Uh, this, this series goes downhill after season two, so. But still, it's it's a great thing to have. And it was cheap also, so picked it up. Happy to have it, even though only two seasons are the phenomenal. And the fourth season, gotta say it's. It's kind of a drag, I gotta say. Yeah. Guys, that was my update for this time. I will come back with a new update in March, probably, with some new titles. So stay tuned. And we I see, it, see you 
in my next update. Have a nice day. And be kind to one another. Goodbye.